Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a squared plus b squared is equal to 7 and a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 10. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b. So, let us start. Let us call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, we suppose that let a plus b is equal to t and if we square both sides of this equation this will become a plus b squared is equal to t squared. This a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b is equal to t squared. Now, we replace this a squared plus b squared with this value 7 from equation 1. So, this will become 7 plus 2 times a b is equal to t squared. We move this 7 to the right hand side then this will become 2 a b is equal to t squared minus 7. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, this implies that a times b is equal to t squared minus 7 divided by 2. Let us call this equation equation 3. Now, we recall equation 2. Equation 2 is a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 10. Equation 2 is a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 10. By using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This a cubed plus b cubed will become a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared is equal to 10. Now, we can rewrite this expression as a plus b times a squared. We write this b squared first plus b squared minus a times b is equal to 10. Now, we replace this a plus b and this a squared plus b squared with a plus b is equal to t and a squared plus b squared is equal to 7. a plus b is equal to t and a squared plus b squared is equal to 7. So, this will become t times in place of this a squared plus b squared we write this 7 minus and in place of this a times b we write this value t squared minus 7 over 2. Value of a b is t squared minus 7 over 2 is equal to 10. Next t times we can write the denominator of this 7 1 and we take the LCM of this 1 and this 2. The LCM of 1 and 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times this 7 will become 14 and 2 divided by this 2 is 1 and due to this negative sign this t squared will become negative t squared this negative 7 will become plus 7 is equal to 10. Next t times this 14 plus 7 will become 21 minus t squared divided by 2 is equal to 
10. We distribute this t, t times 21 will become 21 times t and t times negative t squared will become negative t cubed divided by 2 is equal to 10. Now, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left hand side we are left with 21 times t minus t cubed is equal to 10 times to 20. Now, we move with these two terms to the right hand side. Then this equation will become t cubed minus 21 times t plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, if we put t is equal to 1 in this equation, then this will become 1 cubed minus 21 times 1 plus 20 is equal to 0 and 1 cubed is 1 minus 21 times 1 21 plus 20 is equal to 0. This 20 plus this one will become 21 and 21 minus 21 is 0. It means t is equal to 1 is a solution and t minus 1 is a factor. So, we can rewrite this equation as t cubed we subtract t squared and we add t squared and we write this negative 21 t as negative 1 time t minus 20 times t plus this 20 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out t squared. t squared as common in bracket left uh, t minus 1. And from these two terms uh, t squared minus t we can factor out t plus t as common in bracket left uh, t minus 1. And from these two terms uh, negative 20 t plus 20 we can factor out negative 20. Negative 20 as common in bracket left t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression t minus 1, this t minus 1 and this t minus 1 is common. So, we factor out this t minus 1. The in bracket left this t squared, this plus t and this negative 20. In bracket left t squared plus t minus 20 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression t minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus uh, t minus 20 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 1 and this quadratic equation is factorable so we solve it by factorization we write this t squared t squared and we split this uh, t as uh, plus uh, 5 times t minus 4 times t minus 20 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out t and in bracket left uh, t plus uh, 5 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 4 in bracket left t plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression t plus 5, this expression t plus 5 is common. So, we factor out this t plus 5. And in bracket left this t and this negative 4. In bracket left t minus 4 is equal to 0. And from here is this expression t plus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression t minus 4 
is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 5 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 4 and first we found this value of t 1 t is equal to 1. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a plus b is equal to t. We have supposed that a plus b is equal to t. So, a plus b is equal to this one and a plus b is equal to this negative 5 and a plus b is equal to this 4. It means uh, we have uh, 3 solutions 1 negative 5 and 4. So, the final set of solutions of uh, a plus b is equal to 1 negative 5 and 4. This is the final answer of uh, this problem.